What's going on everyone? It's your boy Quan and I am here to give you the week 8 recap in our Leaders of the Old School Fox Sports Fantasy Football League. I'm going to tell you who won, who lost, why did they win, why did they lose, and the rankings this week. Okay. Plus I got a special segment coming at the end of the show that I hope you like and appreciate and give me a little feedback on that if I should continue it. Okay. Now. First game we're going to get into, my team, Too Hot for TV versus the Peach Hill Tigers. And even though this game was kind of like a struggle, it wasn't until like the fourth quarter when I kind of came through, came on strong and got that victory. 92 to 82. Woo! And I was worried. I was worried because Peach Hill Tigers had Andrew Luck, who got them 30 points. Ahmad Bradshaw gave him 14 points. The Seattle defense came through with 13 points. Matt Prater, who I don't know if he found his groove, but he kicked that winning field goal against the Falcons with 13 points. And even one thing that was kind of like their downfall, they had four other players who had like five or less points. That's not a, you know, that's not a recipe for success. You know what I'm saying? We got to work on that right there a little bit. You know, I, on the other hand, was a little bit more luckier because Aaron Rodgers got me 23 points. Maybe not as much as luck, but I had Lacey get me 17 points. My Buffalo defense got me 30, I mean 16 points. Tucker, one of my favorite kickers, 15 points. And Andre Ellington got me 12. So all of that put together, recipe for success. Next game, we got the Dome Wreckers going against the Rough Riders. And this was a close game. Dome Wreckers comes out on top, 94-91. to 91. Dome Wreckers had players like Nick Foles, who got them 25 points. Chris Irie, 16 points. Mohamed Sanu got 14 points. The Cleveland defense got them 13 points. And Jimmy Graham... Did a little sum, 11 points. Can't get mad at that. Now, Rough Riders, they had Peyton Manning, who got him 29 points, which is good. Antonio Brown, 25 points, which is good. T.Y. Hilton, 21 points. Anton Smith. Here is where the ship starts to sink. If he hadn't got hurt, and that's not your fault. I'm sure he would have had a good week. But Anton Smith had zero points. And you had Phil Dawson in your lineup to kick up for San Fran. And San Fran was on a bye. What is you thinking about? You know, what you should have did, even if you would have put Bishop Sankey in, he had five points. And then the New England defense had 15 points. You could have won this game. But I shall digress. And move on to the next matchup where we have What Do You Expect versus the Eight Town Jags. I really would expect the Eight Town Jags to come through with the win, but that's not what happened. What did you expect came through with the win with 100 points to 85 points? Now, the people that really helped this uh, victory come through, Arian Foster. My, my, my. 35 points, Antonio Gates, 17 points, and their kicker, Dan Carpenter, 14 points. Not bad, almost as good as Tucker. Now, A-Town Jags, you had Brady on your side, which 9 times out of 10, especially the way he's been playing as of lately, that'd be all you need. Brady gave you 44 points, but... You had 10 people, I mean, you had two people that had 10 points, right? The rest of your team had less than 10 points. And your Chicago defense got you a negative one. That's not good. Whew! You got to get them out of there. You need another defense. All right? Now, next game, we've got Texas Fire versus Top Flight. Texas Fire comes through with the victory, 106 to 69. They had help, Texas Fire that is, from Matt Forte who got them 24 points, Le'Veon Bell 14 points, Alshon Jeffrey despite how the, the um, Bears are playing got him 
11 points, and their kicker Mason Crosby got him 12 points. Now, top flight, even though you had D Jax on your team, got you 13 points, you know what I'm saying, and your kicker Graham got you 14 points, you have five people on your team who had less than 10 points, you know what I'm saying, and plus it didn't hurt. And Matt Ryan didn't have a good game. He didn't even get you 20 points. He had like 18 points. So, sorry about that. But, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Now, last and final game we have, we have Team Ramum, who went up against the King Street Wildcats. Team Ramum came through with flying colors, bust up the King Street Wildcats, 109 to 95. And look. When you have Jamal Charles getting you 23 points, DeMarco Murray getting you 20 points, Randall Cobb 18 points, Heath Miller, now, this has to be his game of the season, 17 points, Heath Miller, for real? Now, if he could do that every week, he would be boss, boss. And then you have Pittsburgh, who got you 13 points. Not bad, not bad. Now, King Street Wildcats didn't do that bad. You had Drew Brees, got you 28 points. Your Minnesota defense, and that's your squad right there, 21 points. And your kicker, your favorite kicker, uh, Gus Kowski, you know what I'm saying, got you 15 points. He's doing his thing. But after that, the rest of your team either had 9 points or less. So that's not good because... You got to do something about that. You got to whip them in the shape. You know what I'm saying? Sweet nine, baby. Now, here is the rankings in the league right now. We got in first place with a record of 6-2, and two, A-Town Jags. Second place with a record of 5-3, and three, too hot for TV, baby. And in third place, we've got Texas Fire also with a record of 5-3. and three. Got five teams with a record of four and four, and they are as follows. In fourth place, the Rough Riders. Fifth place, what'd you expect? Sixth place, Team Ramon. And seventh place, got the Peach Hill Tigers. Uh, eighth place, we got Top Flight as well. I did say five teams. So, those are the five teams with a record of four and four, with a record of two and six. In ninth place, we've got the King Street Wildcats, and in tenth place, we've got the Dome Wreckers. We should got another win this week, Dome. So you know what I'm saying? Ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Now for my special segment of the week, which is inspired from my job. I don't know if I explained it earlier, but anyway, when you do something crazy, stupid, something you shouldn't have done, or you're not paying attention, you deserve a whooping. Whoosh! And this week's whooping of the week goes to the team who had a player on by in their lineup. Drum roll, please. The Rough Riders. You deserve that one. I don't know what's going on. That didn't make no sense. I'm looking at my notes and, you know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm not going to give you that for Anton Smith, but boy, that player on by, you need to look at your lineups. That just tells me you need to look at your lineups. Okay, you deserve that one. Now, go get in the corner. <laughs> but yo, check it. Uh, I'm getting ready to get up out of here. I will check you all next week. I hope you're ready for Thursday night football. Get your lineups together. Let's pay attention. All you got to do is log in for a few minutes. Okay? Now. It's your boy, and I'm out. Peace.